it's uh, um, can't remember the name of it right now, but there's the Acasa cooling uh, pad, which is a very similar design to this one. Uh, so little differences. I believe the fan's a lot bigger on this this guy than the Acasa version. Uh, flipping around to the back, we see that it has five angles. Uh, yeah, five angle stand. Uh, it's got a four port USB hub, and a 14 centimeter speed adjustable silent fan. So that's a big uh, 14 centimeter or for you you that are familiar with case fans usually it's in millimeters so it's a 140 millimeter fan uh, it has USB cable clips uh, ergonomic design so you're looking directly at the computer instead of bent over hunched looking down at it movable anti-slip props uh, it's a cooling pad uh, cable management and desktop cooling application so that's Oh, okay, so it's for, yeah, for the desktop, and it's for cooling it if you want to hook up to use your laptop as a de desktop computer, essentially. So we'll open her up here and get a good look, see what we got inside. All right. Oops. Almost forgot. There's, of course, the specifications and user manual there. So included is a USB to USB mini. Uh, looks like some adjustable feet for the bottom. So get those out of the way here for a sec. So here we have the top of it. We'll get her out of the packaging here for you guys so you can get a good look at it. comes very well packaged. You don't have to worry about it showing up broken, that's for sure, because this thing is really... It's got you covered. Okay, so, how does it pack it, finally? So, it's lay on the table design. We'll bring her down here a little. It's got a fairly low form factor. Um, flipping around to the back here. It's fairly low pro profiling, flat. It's got a little bit of an angle. And then, of course, as it said, it is adjustable, so depending on how you want it adjusted, it's got a full range. Um, flipping to the back, we see there's a lot of intake for that fat, or actually that would be, yes, intake. So that, or sorry, not intake, it would be blowing through this, so lots, lots of flow there. Your CFM shouldn't be affected by that. It should be pretty good. On the top is a metal mesh, so that'll be cool when cold air is running across that. So we see on the side here, there's a DC in, power on and off, and a uh, movable uh, fan regulator there, so pretty neat. There's also a thing to take notice, there's little clips back here for running your cables and uh, overall good good looking stand so what we'll do is we'll actually do the testing right here we'll do an idle and load test so you can see so unfortunately the sensors on my uh, laptop don't show me what I need <laughs> to know uh, they don't have the temperatures quite correct I don't think my CPU is minus 49 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this IR gun and uh, this will give us the temps off the keyboard so for right now, we'll do it in Fahrenheit. So we got a Fahrenheit temperature of 77.5. Uh, the max was 78.2. So what I'll do is I'll put it under load and uh, we'll check the temps again. Right now it's currently sitting on the stand for you. Can't quite see, but it's on the stand and the stand's on full bore. So I will do a load test now and then we'll take it off the stand and do an idle and load test then. So by opening up several uh, programs I was able to get a load test off of it so it went up oops it went up <laughs> went up three degrees under load so that's what she's telling us. The actual 